Winter is almost finished, but that doesn't mean a great comfort food like beef stew can't warm you up. I'm your personal chef, Mike Moses. Today, I'll show you how to make an easy yet decadent beef stew in your own home right now. this video please don't forget to click the thumbs up icon and if you like more of these please subscribe cooking stew is a practice that requires patience it is known that if you give stew a longer cooking time then it will be tender and will taste better there are two requirements for beef stew first it must be cooked in a pot with a liquid base and second it must have beef as its main ingredient here's what we'll need two pounds of stewing beef or any other inexpensive cut two quarts of beef stock, two tablespoons of grapeseed oil, one half cup of butter, one half cup of flour, four large potatoes, four large carrots, one large onion, two shallots, one turnip, one cup of red wine, and salt and pepper. Now that we have everything ready, it's time to cook. Trim your beef into cubes. Don't worry about fat too much. This will all render out with the cooking process. Clean and trim your vegetables to be roughly the same size for cooking. We'll start with the potatoes. Make them roughly two inch cubes. The same for the carrots and turnip. Peel and dice the onion in the large sections and peel and dice the shallots into smaller sizes. These are mainly for flavor and they will melt into the liquid. Now that all the chopping is completed, we have a roux to make first. We want this to be a nice dark roux. So add equal parts of butter and flour to the frying pan on a medium high heat and season. Stirring continuously until the roux is almost dark brown. Then remove from the heat and put aside. Let's build the stew. First, we want to bring the pot up to medium high heat and add some grapeseed oil. Now add the beef and stir occasionally until the beef gets a nice color to it. You know, some caramelized pieces and cooked pieces. Once the beef has some color, reduce the heat to medium and add the stock and the wine. Cover and let simmer. Cooking time for this first part is going to be about two hours. The next thing to do, once the beef is tender, is add the vegetables and let this simmer for about 45 minutes. Taste the stew before we add the roux. We may want to season. We will then want to temper the roux so that it's not a big ball when it hits the pot. Add a few ladles of stock to the roux and whisk. Now, increase your heat to medium high and when the liquid starts to boil, add the roux, stirring carefully to incorporate, but not to break down your vegetables. Once you have a nice thick stew base, reduce the heat again to simmer, taste and season as required. Serve your beef stew in a low side of bowl and enjoy. Beef stew develops more flavor as it ages. You can store it in the fridge for a couple of days or even freeze for on the go meals. Here's a trick for freezing in ready to eat portions. Use a container to initially freeze the stew. The next day, run the container under hot water and put in a vacuum sealer bag. Then all you have to do is reheat in boiling water or a microwave for a delicious lunch or supper. If you like this recipe, please leave a comment and a like. And if you'd like to see a particular recipe or topic, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be putting new content on this site weekly. And if you want more information, you can head over to the personalchef.blog where you can print the recipes presented here and I add new content every other day. Thank you for watching. I look forward to helping you eat healthier, shop smarter, and cook better.